well, I think the Church of Ireland as a foreign country, dominated by the Roman Catholic Church. And in my opinion, until Mr. Lamas openly states, and I mean openly, states that he recognises the Northern Ireland government, Mr. O'Neill should have absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with it. Uh, you are a Protestant. I am a Protestant and I am an orange man. And I hope that Northern Ireland will always stay under the British flag. Well, I am a Protestant and uh, I have a lot of uh, very good friends, Catholic friends, living in Ira. Uh, a lot of good friends about Dublin have been there on holiday. And I can't say very much really uh, against them. I find them quite decent people. Well, I'm a Protestant and I think the Catholic has too big a hand, too big of a hand uh, in the South Farm. My opinion of Church of Ireland is the people, the majority of the people is all right, but I think the Roman Catholic Church has got the fear in the people. Northern Protestant Jews, and now, Northern Catholic Jews. But how important would it be to you to see Ireland united? Well, personally, I'm pretty happy with things as they are. We're quite honest. But it would be all right. And you are a Northern Catholic? Oh, yes. You're a young married woman with four of a family. What do you think of the South of Ireland? Well, it really doesn't mean very much to me. Well, would you have any desire to see Ireland united? I don't really know. I would like to see the whole of Ireland united. Do you think? Well, politically and religiously. Do you think that you would, as a Catholic, feel any freer religiously in the South of Ireland? No, no, not uh, actually any freer. I mean, here on the Falls Road, we can practice our religion quite freely without any hindrance. Differing views, all northern. Is there a typical northern view? Oh yes, very typical. I was born and bred in Belfast, had the, the normal education through public elementary school here, and up until the age of 18 was probably more British than Irish, and it, it was only whenever I went to England, in fact, that I, I did discover, in fact, that I, I was Irish. What are your views now towards the South? Well, this, the, the South to me, was always a place where I went for holidays, this is my only knowledge of it. I found it a very pleasant, relaxing sort of place, but again, a bit out of place somewhere or other. Um, there seemed to be a, a, an all-pervading atmosphere of the church down there. The, this made me feel like a stranger, that the, the church seemed to embrace everything everywhere you looked, the, the, the church was represented, uh, the whole society seemed to rotate around the church. But why could you not accept this simply as, as something that belongs to the country? Well, in a way, as I say, I, I, I was brought up with this British sort of tradition, but uh, and as I threw this off or, or found I wasn't British, I, I then thought I was Irish, but going down there, I find, no, I'm not in fact Irish, uh, not in, in the meaning I, I can't accept this uh, as being something which is uh, akin to my way of thinking. And in what way would the South have to change so that you could accept yourself as an Irishman then? I don't really see any way in which it could change. I mean, the change would probably have to come from my point of view. I don't see that happening, therefore I feel rather forlorn and adrift. I'm primarily an Ulsterman. I think Ulstermen have been a separate entity for as long as there has been in Ireland. I don't think this is anything strange. And are they likely to go on being a separate entity? Well, I, I think regardless of any political change one way or the other, I think they are.